What's going on, Gemini? Welcome to your reading for December 2021. This is the Autistic Mystic. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this reading, Gemini, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy for the month of December 2021. We're going to take a look at some things you do not see coming for the month of December. And we're also going to get some advice and messages from your angels and spirit guides regarding your December 2021 experience. Keep in mind, Gemini, that this is a general reading, so take the messages that resonate with you and your situation and leave behind the ones that don't resonate for you. Also, be sure to smash that like button so that all the Gemini people out there can find this reading. The more people that like, comment, and share the video, the more that YouTube promotes it, and that also helps me grow this channel. So without further ado, Gemini, let's go ahead and do four shuffles and really pull the energy for those of you watching this reading for December 2021. Let's see what's going on here. As always, I want to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Gemini. December 2021, messages for Gemini, please. December 2021, messages for the sign of Gemini, please. December 2021, messages for the sign of Gemini, please. Just so you know, Gemini, we will be clarifying all these cards as we move through your reading as well. Super intense energy to, to start us off here, wow. Oh my god, we have three knights, Gemini. What is going on with you here? Okay, Gemini, so the thing standing out to me is you guys are definitely in manifestation mode here in December. You guys are definitely going for it here, trying to manifest something new. Let's start off up top here with your top row in your overall general energy. We have the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. This is an energy of going for what you want, full speed ahead, full throttle. I see a lot of you guys making a decision about something and then just going for it and almost even ignoring negative consequences. The Knight of Swords in your overall general energy, this is kind of the card uh, that is, you could, could perceive it as a little bit careless here, but it's making a decision that you want something and then loading your guns putting it into the catapult, and then bam, poof, shoot off, right? So you combine that with the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Swords. This is an energy, the Knight of Wands is kind of an energy that's like, hey, I want to fly to Las Vegas, I want to fly to New York, let's do it, let's do it right now. You couple that with the Ace of Swords, Gemini, and I just see you guys really making a decision to change your life here. This is a super empowering energy. I see a lot of you guys something that's coming through is re rewiring your neurochemistry and increasing your dopamine. There's something here about dopamine hits that you're going to be getting towards moving towards a goal. So for some of you, this is going to be a relationship that you're really hell bent on manifesting here. Others of you, it's going to be your financial situation that you're looking to change, but you have all this mental clarity here, uh, Gemini for your situation. I do sense you putting it into the you know, the highest gear possible and just gearing up. So don't be afraid to take a lot of action here for you, Gemini, this month. It seems like that's in alignment for you here. We're going to clarify that in a second, but let's move on, Gemini, to uh, what you don't see coming here. I see successful manifestation coming, especially with love. The centerpiece to your reading, Gemini, is the magician. And this is an energy that really just amplifies your overall general energy and lets you know what you don't see coming is successful manifestation here, right? The Magician is a card that can utilize all of the elements of the tarot. You see how the Magician has uh, the pentacle, the sword, the cup, and also the wand on his table. 
or her table. So you have all this possibility for manifestation this month. This is really a month for you guys to go for what you want. You also have this page of pentacles here, right underneath the knight of swords. You guys are in hustler mode here, Gemini. I mean, this is a card of offering something to someone as well. I see a lot of you guys offering to someone uh, something here in love because you do have this knight of cups as well. Um, this is a card of romance, going for what you want, making an offer to someone in love, really romanticizing your life. The feeling that I get for you, Gemini, with this energy is almost romanticizing your life and imagining as if you are the star of your own movie. That's a really powerful technique that might benefit you this month, Gemini, is to perceive your life as if you were... It's like the first scene in the movie, even if you're down and out, even if you're really desperately trying to change your situation, it's beautiful when you can look at it through that perspective of, I am the star of my own movie. And it's finally this decision to walk away from something as well. The theme that you guys have been dealing with over the last few months, if, you've been, if you're a returning viewer, is feeling like you need to walk away from a safety net. And I feel like the decision is finally made. It's almost like burning the boats type energy, no holding back, right? Now... I do sense the feeling like um, you guys, like there, there may be a, a lot of people involved in this, right? Because you have the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and also the Knight of Cups. That's three knights, guys. So there may be some sort of third party situation that you're dealing with. There may be a bunch of people that you have to navigate through, but you're really channeling all these different types of energies. And the feeling is, is that even if you're not financially where you want to be, you're moving in the right direction because the one night that didn't show up is the Knight of Pentacles, which would indicate to me that this is full speed ahead, right? The, the Knight of Pentacles is the one night that you're missing, which is all about slow, gradual movement. There really is a ton of potential this month for you, Gemini, for like ultimate transformation out of nowhere and just almost testing yourself. I feel like a lot of you are testing yourself like, is this manifestation shit real? Is this law of attraction journey real? I'm going to find out this month and that so it's like the energy of like you're going to be in your masculine here for sure ton of masculine energy even if you're a woman you're going to be or embodying that feminine energy you're going to be putting your foot on the gas so I love it Gemini it's, it's looking like really expansive a lot of travel a lot of fun for you here and then we get the advice from your spirit guides right and we have the death card we have the three of wands and we also have the temperance card so they're there with this death card here, they're, they're alerting you to the fact that if you want to make this full speed ahead energy work, Gemini, you're going to have to let the, la the past you die, okay? Because there is a king on this card that's dying here. You see, this is you and your higher self on this horse, but there's a king right here who's almost pleading for you to stop. And so there's a situation where a lot of you guys are going to be dealing with past echoes of your own persona, where there could be family members or people who are discouraging you from going on this journey, Gemini. And I see you kind of ignoring that and pushing forward anyway. So your spirit guides are letting you know, Gemini, if you really want to make this work, you got to burn the boats. You got to go full speed ahead and let the old you die. That's what's required here, right? You also have the three of wands, which shows that you're in a very strong position here, okay? This is you making plans, right? So so the energy of this month is like you writing down your goals, making deadlines, preparing perhaps even preparing for a new year of 2022. Now you do have this one temperance card, which is all about balance here. So they're just telling you to not lose yourself in external seeking. There's gonna be a lot of external change for you this month, Gemini, but I feel like your spirit guides are putting the temperance card here just to remind you um, you know, don't lose yourself in it. Always remember that you are a spiritual being having a temporary human experience. And although this month there's a lot of focus on the material side of life, on the physical side of life, improving that situation, right? Um, don't forget that, you know, this life is just a game. It is a simulation, but these, these really are all positive cards. I see you having a really empowered experience, new love, manifesting new love out of nowhere as well. So let's really get into your reading now, Gemini, and start clarifying some of these cards. But this is like the go-getter mindset. This is one of the most fast-paced readings and empowered readings I've seen in a long time. And it would make sense the phase that you guys are coming out of the past readings as well. It's a beautiful evolution. Let's clarify this Ace of Swords for you, Gemini. Why is this here? Sorry if you guys can hear someone like mowing the grass. There's someone with a leaf blower, my neighbor. So we're just gonna have to roll with the punches and ignore that. And I feel that's synchronistic here, Gemini. It's something amazing coming through. I almost wasn't gonna do this reading because you can hear like a little buzzing noise in the background. I hope you guys can hear it. I'm not sure if you can, but that's the type of energy. It's like things may not be perfect. You're just gonna go anyway, right? The neighbor is interrupting my reading, too bad. I'm just going for it anyway. And that's always synchronistic as well with these cards, especially. 
So tell me more about this Ace of Swords for Gemini here, the go-getter mindset. Why is this here? What is the clarity about? Tell me more, please. Why is this Ace of Swords here for Gemini? All right, we've got two jumpers flying out of the deck here. All right, we have the Breakthrough card and the Change card, guys. You can't make this stuff up. Uh, these are the two cards that you want to see with the Ace of Swords, right? Um, so this indicates complete change, breakthrough. So you guys are done. You guys are fed up with a certain situation of your life, and you're going to start to use your willpower. You see how the person's solar plexus, their stomach here, is exploding and change. So... The, the fact that there's two major arcana cards here shows me that this is this is part of your destiny here, Gemini. I mean, this is not something that your ego just wants for its own gratification. Whatever it is you're pushing forward with, it's totally in alignment, right? You have the support of the universe here because you, you decided to really change something here. So change and break through. I mean, you can't make that up, Gemini. It's, it's utter clarity that you know you need to change something and you're willing to do it at all costs here. So that's very beneficial. And you have this consciousness card, which is all about utter clarity. This is the Ace of Swords again. So super masculine, powerful energy popping, popping out. Let's also clarify this Knight of Swords here. I feel like we don't need to, but let's just get more information about it. You could be teaming up with a certain like gang of people, a mastermind to help you accomplish your goals. That might be a good idea. Um, but it's almost like you're the lone wolf here, Gemini. It's like kind of what I get. Let's see, why is this Knight of Swords here for Gemini? Tell me more about this Knight of Swords energy for Gemini. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords energy for Gemini, please. Yeah, the Aloneness card wanted to pop out. Once again, another major arcana, guys. Transformation, breakthrough change, transformation, Knight of Swords. I mean... Come on, guys. This is incredible. Um, you know what's interesting is that in the Osho Zen Tarot, this is the death card, guys. So there's a death to the old you. The old you that just gets pushed around by other people or is told what to do. You're taking life into your own hands here, Gemini. And it's all backed by spirit. Once again, three major arcana cards to clarify this. This is... Uh, this is something that you know you're meant to do here. You might have to be like roughing it a little bit, right? The Page of Pentacles, you might have to be in a situation that compromised you physically, right? You might not have as much money. You might have left something behind that, that gave you stability. But I see you really tapping into that fun. So let's clarify this Magician. Tell me more about this Magician energy for Gemini, please. Tell me more about this magician energy, the aloneness card popping out. I feel like this is something you guys got to do on your own here. Yeah, so the card that wanted to fly out here is going with the flow, Gemini. So you're in alignment with the universal flow. This is also the ace of cups. So I feel a, a driving force that could be driving you guys forward is the desire for love and union. And I feel like the partner that you guys are really looking for here, Gemini, wasn't going to be found in your old life. So that's why we have the death card, transformation, change, breakthrough. It's like, you know that like whatever you were settling for, you're done. And that's in, a, in, in the flow with the universe. You manifesting, you finally getting this relationship, manifesting on this journey, it's totally in the flow. You're in the flow. You're exactly where you need to be. I wouldn't change one thing. I mean, you're obviously on the path to change, but... I wouldn't change anything about the process you're going through. It's a beautiful process. Let's also clarify this Knight of Cups. Why is this Knight of Cups here for Gemini in December? Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups, please. Okay, so the Knight of Cups, guys, 
is clarified by the outsider card here. So I just get the feeling like you guys are sick and tired of being the outsider. Like you're seeing other people having fun and you're feeling like in your old life you just couldn't manifest what you wanted. So this is this is utilizing the power of romance and love to push you forward out of an outsider experience. So this is what you're letting go of here for what you don't see coming outsider. Now for some of you, when you step into this action, when you step into this flow, I am getting the lone wolf energy. So a lot of you guys may be feeling like you're 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 not getting what you want still, but now you're on the path to actually getting what you want. So there is a potential for you guys to feel like you're doing it all alone here, but you're going to meet up with someone here and it's just a desire to use love and use romance as a driving force to push you forward here, right? So I do sense you guys manifesting love also to get you outside of this outsider energy, right? No longer feeling alone. You guys definitely have a divine counterpart that's circling around you. Um, that's built into this flow. They were almost waiting for you to take this first step. And like, I feel like someone out there is kind of wishing that you took control and now you're actually taking control, which is super powerful. All right, let's also clarify this death card for you, Gemini. What is this death card doing here for you in the advice and messages from your spirit guides for December? We had the courage card pop out. So you're going to have to be courage, a lot of strength. It's going to take courage. You're going to be scared in this journey. It's okay to be scared though. As long as you're doing the thing, then you have the power. All right, you might try to overthink this a little bit. We had the mind card popping out, but let's see. Why is the death card here for Gemini? All right, yeah, so we have the rebel card, guys. Intuitively, what I sense here is gonna, there's going to be this feeling of pulling you back into your old life. Whatever you're hell-bent on manifesting here and your new I it's really like you're cultivating a new identity this month, Gemini. There's going to be a pull to, to like bring you back because the rebel here, this is like the emperor in traditional tarot, but it represents breaking free from a certain situation. You see how there's chains that the person is breaking free from, Gemini. And I feel like there's a situation where you're going to be feeling like the call to just shell up and go back into your old life. But if you can remain strong, you have so many presents and gifts available to you. You just have to go through this process, Gemini. You just have to stay strong and knowing that you're in the flow. You're making the right decision here and remain strong in your rebellious nature. There's going to be some people that you're going to have to piss off this month if you really want to enact this plan, if you really want it to move forward. So don't be afraid to do that. If you're getting criticism from other people in this particular reading, I think that's actually a good thing, Gemini. Let's clarify this temperance card. Why is this temperance card here for Gemini? Tell me more about this temperance card, please, for Gemini. It's just kind of like I'm, I'm sensing that you really, you want to not give your whole heart away here. Hold on. There's this feeling like you're putting everything on the line, but you don't want to put your soul on the line, if that makes sense. So the two cards I wanted to clock come out are the receptivity card and the experience card. So Gemini, this just is a reminder from your guides to connect with nature and be receptive to the insight and clarity that you get along this journey. Because a lot of you guys are taking life into your own hands and it's almost like the feeling this month is like just go-getter manifestation mode. So you might be ignoring signs from the universe that subtly adjust your experience of exploration so just be open to the to the intuition you might have to connect with nature just make sure that you don't lose yourself in this journey is really what the temperance card is saying here gemini it's like you guys have so much on the line it's like your ego is in a transformation you're really transforming into the soul but your ego is like flaring up this month. It's like, oh my God, I'm going to go get this. I don't care what they say. And just make sure that when you're in that process, you don't lose sight of who you really are as a peaceful, joyous being. So I hope that makes sense for you, Gemini. And if you guys want more information on your December energy and this resonates with you, feel free to book a personal reading with me. You can find information on that in the description box of this video. Those readings, those personal ones will tell you way more specific details about your situation and what you can expect, what you can do to 
to transform your life. Uh, either way though, Gemini, this is an empowering month. It's the step that you guys need from your previous readings to step into the power. You're finally doing it. So I really appreciate all you guys and I hope you have a great December. Peace.